Good morning, everyone. This is Debbie Royce, ESD's Corporate Secretary. I'd like to welcome everyone to this morning's Bond Financing Committee meeting. Before we formally begin, I will ask that everyone please mute your lines unless you're speaking. And we'll do a quick roll call of the committee members before we get started. Kevin Eunice? Here and present. Thank you. Howard Zemsky? Present and here. Thank you. And Benson Martin, the designee for acting superintendent of the New York State Department of Financial Services, Adrian Harris. Here and present. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for everybody for joining today. And um, Kevin, you can begin. Good morning. Uh, before I call this meeting to order, I'll note for the record that I will serve as the acting chair for today's committee meeting. Now call to order the meeting of the Bond Finance Committee, members of the New York State Urban Development Corporation, DBA Empire State Development for Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. Before we get started, I'd ask everyone to please mute your phone until you are ready to speak. For the record, I will ask that anyone wishing to speak, just be sure to state your name before you begin. I'd like to note for the record that in accordance with recently passed legislation, this meeting will be conducted by teleconference. I'll note for the record that the public was given the opportunity to comment on the agenda item by submitting their written comments by 4.30 yesterday and that no comments were received from the public concerning today's agenda item. Committee members have received the relevant written materials in advance of today's meeting and are free to ask questions at any time. I will now ask the committee members whether anyone has a potential conflict of interest with respect to today's agenda item. If so, I would ask that you please make an appropriate disclosure on the record at this time and would remind you to recuse yourself from the discussion or vote with regard to this item. No conflicts. I would now ask Goldie Wexel to present today's agenda item, which relates to the preliminary actions in connection with the issuance of state personal income tax bond revenues. Goldie, when you're ready. Sure. Thank you, Kevin. Before I start on the item, I just wanted to um, just let folks know that we also have Miyoko Okubu and uh, Matthew Akasello on the call. They're going to just be listening in because yesterday was their first day at ESD, um, but they are both going to be involved in ESD's um, bond finance work on the, in the legal department. Um, and so I just want to welcome them um, and also let you know that um, you will probably be hearing from them more in the future. Um, that being said, um, I will start on this item. Um, thank you, Kevin. Multiple project acts, related appropriation acts, the New York State Personal Income Tax Revenue Bond Program Statute, and the New York State Sales Tax Revenue Bond Program Statute, collectively known as the Project Acts, authorize ESD to assist in financing certain programs and projects and to refund bonds previously issued by state entities, including ESD. We are here this morning because ESD intends to issue one or more series or subseries of tax exempt, exempt and or taxable bonds. The bonds will have fixed interest rates and will be issued in, a, in an amount not to exceed $3 billion, including issuance costs. The proceeds of the bonds are expected to be used to fund for projects, refund bonds previously issued by ESD and or other state issuers, and pay ESD's costs and expenses incurred in connection with the issuance of the bonds. Specifically, there are two authorization requests. The first one relates to the PACB authorization. The Public Authorities Law requires the approval of the New York State Public Authorities Control Board, commonly referred to as the PACB, for the acquisition, construction, or financing of any project proposed by ESD. In order to move forward with this transaction, the Bond Financing Committee is being asked to approve the submission of an application to the PACB for the proposed sale and issuance of one or more series or subseries of bonds. Details of the application can be found attached to the board materials. The second request relates to retention of counsel. The Bond Financing Committee is being asked to authorize that the corporation enter into legal services contracts with two firms, Nixon Peabody LLP and D. Seaton & Associates, in connection with the issuance of the bonds. These firms were selected from ESD's pre-qualified counsel list as having bond financing expertise and experience working on state bond issuances. These firms would serve as co-bond counsel on this transaction. 
The appointment of both of these firms also represents an equitable distribution of work among ESC's rotating slate of senior and junior tier bond firms and minority and women-owned business enterprise law firms to handle ESC's debt in terms of size, number of transactions, and fees received. These firms would advise ESD in securities, bonds, taxes, and other related legal matters in connection with the issuance and sale of the bonds. ESC has used experienced bond counsel on every issuance of its bonds. The contracts will be funded from the bond proceeds as a cost of issuance. I, along with members of ESC's finance team, would be happy to answer any questions at this time. Thanks very much. All right. Hey, thanks, Goldie. Uh, are there any questions or comments from the committee members on this item? No questions. Uh, as noted earlier, we do not have any comments from the public on this item, and I would now entertain a motion for approval. Motion to approve. Uh, do I have a second? Benson. Second. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Motion carries. Uh, there being no further business for a motion, I'd uh, call for a motion to adjourn. So moved to adjourn. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Howard. folks. Congratulations. Thank Benson. you. Thanks. Thank you.